This video is about the Biogram 4002 Commander remote control. This remote control is paired with an individual Apple TV remote, so it can be used together with an Apple TV in the same room. The remote mirrors all functions of the keypad and it adds fast and slow queuing functionality. For more information, please visit my blog at biolover.blogspot.com or go to my website at www.biolover.com. This shows the Biogram Commander board. The board plugs in directly into the uh, keyboard connector on the main PCB of the Biogram. The keyboard connector itself is routed through the board and it plugs into this uh, connector on top of the commander board. This shows the commander board plugged in. Note here the infrared receiver, how it feeds between the uh, plinth and the enclosure. This here summarizes the commander functions. The play pause button is used as start button. While the record is playing, it also activates the arm lift. The menu button serves as stop button. Stop can also be activated by double clicking the scanning right button. The scanning right and scanning left buttons activate slow or fast scanning depending on how long they are being pressed. The up and down buttons also activate the arm lift, while the select button in the center serves to switch the speed while the record is playing. Before the record is playing, one can activate the record cleaning function with this button. The Biogram Commander comes with a paired Apple remote. This means that the Commander only listens to the particular remote that is provided. Should there still be a conflict with the ID number of a pre-existing Apple remote, the ID number of the pair can be changed. This is done by pressing the menu and select buttons together for about 6 seconds. At that point the 33 RPM indicator is briefly activated to indicate pairing with a new ID number. Every time the pairing process is carried out, the Apple remote ID is changed by plus 1. Okay, time for a demonstration. First pressing the select button activates the record wiping function. Once the record is clean we can activate the start function. Scanning forward. After a few seconds it goes faster and so we can conveniently find the next track. This here demonstrates the RPM change function. For that the deck needs to be on. And then once the platter is spinning the select button allows to switch between 45 and 33. And finally a demonstration of the pairing mechanism. So we start out with a remote control that is not paired and so nothing happens. And so now by pressing the menu and select buttons together for about 6 seconds until the 33 indicator lights up briefly, the remote control is paired with the commander. This concludes my video about the Biogram 4002 Commander. If you're interested in installing one into your Biogram 4002, just send me an email. Thanks for watching.